Do you know someone who travels a lot? Or is that maybe you and you're just curious about some fun items to pick up for yourself or to put on your wish list? Well, today I'm going to share my favorite items as a traveler to give you some good ideas. So thanks for being here. My name is Nicole. Welcome to my channel, Travel to Money, where I share about how to travel, adventure, and have fun on the road to financial independence. Buying gifts for people can be a lot of fun, but sometimes it can feel hard to be creative and come up with something that they will either A, be excited about, or B, will be something useful for them. Hopefully I'll be able to give you a lot of ideas that will make your shopping a bit easier and that way you can just focus on the fun of gift giving. Everything I talk about today, I will list in the description so that you can find each item easily, whether or not I have affiliate links for them. Okay, let's start with an obvious gift category for travelers, and that is luggage. So I have a couple of thoughts on luggage depending on the traveler in your life. First, let's talk about the fashion and ease traveler. I only recently would put myself in this category because I began traveling with a lot more camera gear. And this meant I needed some carry-on luggage with wheels. At the same time, I began being able to use airport lounges because I learned about awesome credit card offers because of Katie's travel tricks. If you guys have not heard of her, please go follow her stuff. You'll save money, you'll save time, and you'll get better experiences like airport lounges, which I'll come back to. So if you're going to be frequenting airport lounges, you should know that some of them have a dress code. It's not like you need to be fancy, but you might not want to show up in pajamas. So I decided to look for a luggage set that would meet my needs. And I also wanted to find a comfortable travel outfit that would go with my luggage. What I ended up deciding on was this set of luggage. They have a couple of different set and size options, but I chose this cream color with brown trim and the carry-on that has a matching underseat bag that also expands and then a third smaller bag for toiletries. They also have an option just like this that has a backpack instead of the shoulder bag. I just took this with me to France and Spain and let me tell you, I put it through the ringer. Unfortunately, they made me check the bag due to the plane being full, so the bag got a little scuffed up. However, I was really impressed with how easy it was to clean it up, especially considering the cream color. For my camera equipment, I'm glad to have this hard shell case and it rolls really well. For the underseat bag that goes with it, there's a great place to keep my passport. I'm able to easily fit my very large laptop and there's just a ton of room without even opening up the expanded part of the bag. But my favorite thing about this bag and the other toiletry bag is the material. It seems to be really high quality, but it also doesn't get dirty and everything just wipes off. Not only that, but the liner on the inside seems to be much better than some of the other brands out there that had similar looking bags. I'm thrilled with it and I love not carrying anything around anymore. The luggage set is the main thing I'm recommending here, but I really looked around to find a bunch of stuff to match this to. So if you're interested, I got this outfit to travel in that matches the brown trim. It's a really lightweight and super comfy pair of jogging pants and hoodie, but it still looks nice. I also bought this laptop case and cord case that match the brown color. And then to finish it out, I have my brown Ray-Ban sunglasses that were such a sweet gift. Okay, the other traveler I wanna talk about luggage for is the backpacker. And by this, I don't really mean someone hiking mountains with a backpack, but the person who is looking for a large backpack carry-on as they travel across the globe. I bought this backpack back in 2017. It has been all over the world with me multiple times. It's been checked, it's been carried on, it's been in the rain and through many outdoor situations. It is still in the same condition as the day I purchased it. I think I spent around $200 for it at the time, but it is one of the most high quality pieces of luggage I've ever purchased. One of the things that I loved about it is that it opens up like a suitcase. It has wire running all around it between the layers, so it can't just be sliced open. I had a TSA person tell me when it went through the scanner that they've never seen anything like it before. It's basically made for safety. 
It has these special locks and even has a wire that you can use to strap it to a post or something if you have to walk away from it. Now, I don't think this exact model is still in production, but they've continually put out new versions of these. I'll put a link to their entire store because if you're looking for safety-based bags, this is a great place to start. I think I'll still have this bag 30 years from now and it will still look the same. Okay, so the next set of items I wanna show you are from a particular store. These are items produced by empowered women in Guatemala through a nonprofit organization. The particular leather items I wanna show you specifically based on travel are this passport holder and then the small wallet. I love being able to have a small card holder that I can move between bags. If you're looking for a small gift to purchase for a traveler in your life, you can't go wrong with these. They are the most high quality leather products I've ever owned and each is a full piece of leather. It's also really special that all of the proceeds go to empower more vulnerable women. There are a lot of other cool items in the rest of their shop, so if you're just looking for gifts in general, this is a great place to start looking. The next thing I wanna bring up is the ability to go to airport lounges, which I mentioned before. All of these lounges are different, but there are over 1,600 in this network around the world. I just got to enjoy my first experience in my home airport in Orlando, and I was shocked. Food, alcohol, beverages, high-speed Wi-Fi, comfortable seating, and so much more. All for free if you have a pass. Then I enjoyed it again in Paris and then again in Alicante, Spain. I've just been floored by how much this changes my airport experience. And it's so nice to go to an airport and have great food options and not have to pay an arm and a leg. Now, if you're interested in this for yourself, then if I were you, I would go listen to Katie from Katie's Travel Tricks as she shares about how to get lounge access via credit cards, and it's really the best deal. Now, if you wanna buy a very lavish gift for someone you know who is traveling all the time, there are different pass options available, but the best would be the unlimited lounge pass, giving access to all 1600 lounges when traveling. There are a lot of details, like you'd probably wanna make sure there is a lounge in their home airport where they travel out of a lot, but it's just a creative idea if you're wanting to buy a larger gift for a traveler you love. Okay, now let's talk about a few other items that may be right. I think a super obvious one would be a great neck pillow. I have a decent one, but I don't even know what the brand is. I do have friends that have bought some nicer ones that reflect some new and creative ideas for neck pillows. They love them, so I'll include a couple of links to those. The ostrich one is one of those things on my wish list. <laughs> Along those same lines, a great eye mask or even a set of both together is something I love to have on my trips. Another item I personally love are my Bose headphones. I waited a long time to reward myself with these, but one of the things I love about these for travel are that not only are they noise canceling, but they also have the ability to flip between quiet and aware modes. So if you're waiting in line in the airport and you need to be able to hear if someone is talking to you or an important announcement, you can just turn on aware mode and these little external mics on the outside will turn on and let a certain amount of outside noise in. I have found that to be awesome. Not to mention when you want to sleep, you just turn on that quiet mode and it drowns everything else out. Okay, so I would imagine that most frequent travelers would already have global entry or TSA pre-check, but if they don't for some reason, covering their cost to be part of that program would be a great benefit if traveling often in the US or back to the US. This just means they don't have to deal with the long lines at security when traveling and don't have to do things like taking off shoes and pulling out computers. Listen, I am that person who always overpacks my bag and sometimes getting my computer in and out of my bag feels like trying to get a watermelon through a mail slot. Another couple of membership ideas might depend on the type of traveler you know, but if you have someone who does van life, a membership to something like Harvest Hosts is a great idea. If you know someone who is trying to travel on a budget, a membership to a house sitting platform is a great idea. My favorite house sitting platform will be linked below and there's also a discount code for any of my followers who purchase memberships. So check out all of that in the description. Anyhow, if you have any great gift ideas for travelers, let us know in the comments. I get great ideas from all of you all the time and I'm always excited to see what the newest thing is out there. And before I let you go, I'd just like to remind you that an ongoing gift you can give to your traveling friends is a phone call or a little note you leave for them to find in their bag, especially those solo traveling friends. 
I don't speak for all of them, but I bet they'd love to hear from you. Now, if you want to learn more about house sitting, like I just mentioned, check out this video next. But first, be sure to like this video and subscribe to join me every day where travel and adventure build financial freedom. I can't wait to see where your dreams will take you.